Hello guys, welcome back to Knox Locks. Today we're going to be doing a review of Bare Bones. Their basic kit, but in 20,000. Okay, and we're going to do a Peterson comparison. I've been preaching Bare Bones for a while, but uh, I'm going to show you the difference. Before the deep dive begins though, <clears throat> I'm going to show you the basic bare bones that I use. So, typically, if I'm using bare bones, I would use my femur handle. As you can tell, my polished up picks. And then um, the butcher blocks in the corner. I mean, you can start starting to get a little wear and tear on the bends. But, I mean, overall, for a year and change, it's time, you know, years worth of time. They're holding up good. Especially more use with the awesome new ghost pick. And the femur 2.0 handle, but that's not this video. Then, when you get to the 23 and 15 thousandths, well, that's the advanced kit. Uh, basically, normally comes in, yep, not that case, but uh, I guess this style case. But I, I went ahead and uh, swapped them out. So this is the 15 thousandth. They come in white. <clears throat> and this is the... Obviously 23, and then I got the top of keyway, bottom of keyway wires. Uh, you can see this exact kit uh, in Trucker's hands. He got his video up today of using this exact kit. Come, that comes in the Molly. Actually, that's right. I forgot. I do have. Oh, sorry. I try to be better prepared. But that's right. The uh, advanced kit comes in the Molly pouch. So that's what you'd be getting it. At any rate. <clears throat> so between the femur and the uh, advanced. Mark came out with a much desired 20,000. Now we have a little different system of marking them. As far as. Oh wow I just said his name Mark. And now I'm talking about marking the. Picks that could be confusing, but just to show you real quick, my version of when I was coming up with a uh, hybrid size handles is with the black being obviously 23 to white 15. I'd just put one on each side, and that would let me know it's 20. So Mark now has the clear to distinguish between. I'm getting to the Peterson comparison here. I just wanted to show you what's in the kit. For those who aren't aware, uh, you'd get a triple peak, a double peak, a city rake or L rake, a nice snake rake. Then over here, you got a DeForest diamond, half diamond, get a little clear diamond. It's not as rounded as it's appearing as camera. And then for top of keyway, I'm sorry, for, uh, for tension tools, period. Stick them where you want, pal. <laughs> but, uh, no, they have a uh, shrink wrap identifiable uh, labeling. And you get four different sizes. So, <clears throat> now for the Peterson comparison. If you look at these two particular hooks, uh, I'm going to take this one first. This is... Known as Peterson's, well, hold on. <laughs> and this one, made in USA, Peterson is a hook one. Okay. Now, this is something I use for my help my, keeping my hands getting fatigued. That's actually for my headphones. It's a Velcro thing that's meant to keep the wires wrapped up. Just, you know, that helps anybody. But uh, at any rate, <clears throat> why do I like bare bones so much? Well, okay, you see the matching kind of profiles, and they're kind of longer. But I'm going to do the better comparison on the gem. So, I first heard of the Peterson's gem watching my you know, idol, Bosnian Bill, no secret. And uh, this is the rubber handle. 
So after seeing it in Bill's hands, I saw this one. All of a sudden, whoa, it's in Bill's hands. It's in Lock Noobs. This is Lock Noobs 18,000 version. Or, you know, one of his favorites. So, if Lock Noob, you know, is favorite at 18, and Bill uses whether it's 18 or 15, whatever, still the gem's something I had to check out. And, you know, I'm very much on a budget. So, what they had at the time, to give you an example, uh, this all rubber one here full government steel full tang whatever uh that was a, i think a 25 dollar pick 20 or 25 bucks something like that uh the same one in 18 thousandths i want to say it was like 15 and then they offered this was my first uh go here this is nickel plated steel so this isn't government steel, this isn't whatever. And at the time they were um whatever at five bucks, something like that. So <clears throat> I ordered myself a hook one, a gem, a quad peak. I got a few of the gray handled ones. So my point of bringing this up, I am they're all gems. And they're all, in this case, made by Peterson's in my left hand. And they all kind of same, serve the same purpose with the exception of thicknesses. And I do not recommend the rubber handle, dude. I made a major mistake. This thing is so, uh, not sturdy. <laughs> it's not what I thought it would be. I thought, uh, I didn't realize how much the rubber was going to suppress the feedback. That That's more or less what I was trying to say from that. So it's not so much that it's a bad tool and that it, it doesn't, touch the pins it's this whole rubber i thought the full tang would be the way to go but not in rubber mode unfortunately the plastic is better now let's get down to bare bones instead of brass tacks let's get down to the bones okay so here i am with my nickel plated steel gem over here i'll use the pretty purple one for lock new that was a great AMA. I don't even want to start talking about it. I'll get all jazzed up. But uh, thanks for answering my questions, by the way. So now you look at the bare bones handle next to it. And you're going to see a couple things right away. One, it's thicker. So it gives you more to hold on to. Two, it's longer. Now I know... It doesn't look like much. Keep in mind, I have shrink wrap all up on this. But that extra little quarter of an inch, man, that makes all the difference in the world when you're leveraging in a key way. And then on the other end, it has length on it. So I'll, <clears throat> here, just to show you profile, they're not that much different. But we really, they're not. Okay, so you can see, that's pretty similar, man. And I put the light right on. There we go. That That's pretty uh, spot on there. But look how far back I had to pull back that bare bones to match the uh, the length of the tip. Point being, not only does it have a longer handle, it has a longer, slightly longer shank to it, too. So, I mean, you're able to get, you know, six pins quite easily. You know, it doesn't have that extra, and it, it it's not at the cost of, uh, you know, stability or flexibility. It's, I'm telling you, these are uh, a much better option if you're just looking to go to 3D handled or 3D printed handled route. And I mean, it, the same comparison holds true for if I wanted to compare um, the, hold on, the hook ones on this one. If I want to compare the hook one with the gem, let me follow it back. So we can see they both have that kind of flat top. Now I'm going to... Uh, 
I mean, so for the most part, so I'm trying to pull them as easy as possible. Right there, there you go. <clears throat> and again, look how much more handle you get. And that really does make a difference. Okay, Peterson comparison over. So, now you got your bare bones kit. I've already taught you how to chrome your bones. What would I add to this kit? So, <clears throat> I showed you the gem. I showed you the hook one. I showed you the forest diamond and the half diamond. I showed you the rakes. This one's a bare bones product itself. And it's the three bones deep. So, these are made by the butcher's block. And again, I give them the comparison of these are the bare bones, what the SS devs are for uh, for sparrows. Not saying they're exact same profile. I simply mean for the basic profiles. When the basic profiles aren't deep enough, <laughs> these babies come into play. And I mean, even to the extent of. I like the lower cuts. Only one of the SS devs from Sparrows has that lower uh, straight shank. You can kind of see it a little bit there. I kind of like that. You know, especially before when I didn't have handles or have anything to put them to. That's, you know, a much nicer sit on the, you know, it sits on the finger a lot nicer. So these are for the deeper cuts. There's... It has a slightly gemish tip. That one's just hooked straight up. That one's a little thick in there. So, I'm going to clean these bad boys up. And then, next time you'll see me, I'll be getting ready to glue them into the mixed colored handles. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Alright, I'm going to go chrome these bad boys up as you already know how. Let's see you in a few. Okay. Um, one hook down, and right there you can see exactly why you chrome your bones. So the one on top, I have not glued in the handle yet. I'm simply using that as a spacer. Over here I'll put the uncleaned one on top. And you can really just see the difference. I mean, I haven't put in the the polish on it yet but just a general sandpaper at 3000 or 1000th and then polished up at 3000 and uh, I know at first it might not look like much but then when you actually do the comparison like that that's a whole row of false feedback and whatever and then also you could see on the tips I narrow mine down yeah not really translating well but I narrow it down to cut through the locks or through the key pins rather all right pretty next time I see you you'll have all three or next time you see me I'll have chromed all three and ready to glue up all right so we are back I've already got two uh, glued up and clamped up over here I'm gonna do the last one on camera I use a uh, Gorilla Glue gel so make sure it's the gel not the regular Gorilla Glue and uh, I apply a real healthy amount as you're gonna see it comes up through the skeleton of the And again, I make the white side on the right, just because I like it like that. You leave that little bit out on top, on the top here. That's for the pressure. Push that on down a little bit, add some glue on top. 
Yeah, I don't need no more than that. Okay, so you can see all coming through. Over here, big time, and up there, this sets pretty quick, so. This type of bullshit. Yeah, you got snap into place. <clears throat> Putting the cap on the glue. Before I put the clip on, I take a little tiny piece of uh, paper towel. You see the excess glue? Like I said, I put a, a lot in there. Reason being, uh, this gel in particular adds a lot of weight to the handle. And I actually like the weighted handle. So for me it works out. Oh, don't get it on the pick. Damn it. Okay. Good enough for now. Yeah, I grab one of these uh binder clamps. And I'm gonna put that on there for the night. Along with these other two. Yeah, I'll give you a little better close-up view, I guess. So, they're going to hang out clipped up, and you'll see the final product. Yeah, 20,000, baby. I'm okay, checking on the uh, overnight drying with the clips. So, I'm clipping. Take them for a quick test drive. Alright, let's see. Look at them beautiful buttons. 20,000 butcher block custom handle edition by Knox. Custom coffin handle edition by Knox. How about that? So let's take it for a test drive. <clears throat> in the bare bones tensioner. The one with the little black uh, shrink wrap on there. This is my preferred of the three, the uh, jawbone, I believe. Yeah, let me get you in on it. So. Okay, and we have an open. So it definitely works. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm trying not to use my revolver quite so much, but uh. As you can see, there we have a very nice kit at 20000 There's only uh, one thing I'd really add to this, and I guess uh, you're going to have to see. <laughs> but at 20000 that's a beautiful thing. It's a nice review. And remember, anything is possible when everything's unlockable.